did you see the way I put my hand on him? Let me translate the conversation the dog and I are having here. He's about to shake water all over my trailer. Putting my hand on him was my way of asking if he would please wait until the bath was done before he shakes the water off. When I touched him, he relaxed as if to say, sure, I can wait. I appreciate you asking so nicely. I have instincts like this that I don't understand. They just happen. If you would have asked me two minutes earlier how I could prevent this dog from shaking water all over me, I would have told you I have no clue. I was happy to see how easy it was for him to jump from the tub to the table. He's an old boy with a tired soul. I don't know how much more time he has left on this earth. I'm putting my hand over his ear canal so the high velocity dryer isn't blowing into his ear. This is an awkward angle for me. I usually have dogs stand in a different orientation when I'm dremeling their nails. But this old boy can lay down if he wants to. I'll roll with him. I'm using a de-shedding tool on him. This gets those fuzzy tufts of hair out of his undercoat. 
I've been taking care of this dog for a couple of years. He usually sheds more than this. He goes through cycles. Sometimes after I get done blowing him dry, the white wall behind him is completely covered in black hair. You can't even tell that it's a white wall. Except the spot on the wall immediately behind him will have a dog-shaped clean spot. Love to see that tail wagging. I'm shaving the hair out of the pads of his feet so he'll get better traction on slippery floors. I have an appointment to groom him next month. Maybe I'll also get to see him again the month after that. Or maybe he will have moved on by then. Living my best life.